Hello and welcome to this Coolidge course. If you are not already joined, please join. Here you have the access code. Okay, let me introduce myself. I'm Gustavo Aguilar. I'm a math teacher here in Uruguay. Where is Uruguay? Uruguay is a country in South America. Okay, it's this country that you can see here in South America. Okay, so what I'm interested in, I'm interested in how to put um, technology in work for math and in work in the math class to make students visualize math and to make students get better math ideas and get a clear view of what is math okay i think that it should not be repeating and repeating and repeating the same exercises once and once and again and doing like a gym class like repeating and repeating until you get it but like analyzing visualizing concepts and discovering in a way the math. So what I will present is how you can make an interaction between GeoGebra and Schoology to create a different kind of classwork or homework or whatever work but for the students to create to get the math concept in a more creative and innovative way I and mean, it's not a, a, a something that I have created I mean I'm just doing the link between these things but you may read a lot of things of why should math be more interactive and so on okay this is not my my idea this is just I'm going to show you how to make the link between school and here to create the, the atmosphere and to create a work that you can make more math with your students okay so what is GeoGebra first GeoGebra is a software it's a free software that you can use to to for dynamic math okay I'm going to show you how it looks you may uh, google GeoGebra math apps and you you have this beautiful thing to start working online with the students or on your own to see how it works okay you may work it and you may see a lot of stuff okay so uh, what is Schoology is this learning platform that you may already be using okay so in this course we're going to see uh, just three ways in which you can do the interaction between these platforms okay for example one can be creating a link to a GeoGebra tube I'm going to then talk about what is GeoGebra tube but to you can make a link to a page that has some math applet okay for example if you click in here you will find this uh, for example this uh, app here that is outside uh, Schoology just a link to another page in which you can work with the applet and answer some questions okay and with that you you may win some math concept okay or some math idea that the teacher is willing to present okay so that can be the first way of doing it then i'm going to show you how okay then another way in which you can make a link between schoology and your is by creating a discussion and inside the discussion discuss about an applet for example something like this you have Question. Questions are very important in, in this kind of work because questions are going to be what is what's going to lead students' work and what is going to let them create that new knowledge or not. So questions are going to be very important. So for example, here in this discussion, we're talking about uh, Taylor series. Okay, here you have all the Taylor polynomials. You can make the degree variable and you can use a point to see the different approximations of the I think about the logarithm or design okay yes design design of a number okay so there you have it with the, with the math and here below the applet you have you have the questions and you have the answers of students why doing this in Schoology because Schoology helps you to get a clear view of what the students are learning because it, it has a very clear way of showing you the results of the discussions or the results of the tests and so on and you can really get a clear view to mark it and get a clear follow-up on how the, the students are learning and that is very important that's the reason of why doing this in Schoology okay then a third way which it's a little bit more complex in a way but not so much but it's a little bit better for me it's creating a quiz or test in Schoology like this I'm going to show and not use it like a test or quiz use it like questions and applets until you get the students learn what you want them to, to learn or discover in a way what you want them to discover okay then I'm going to show you uh, 
This one, for example, it has a little bit of, of fun with geometry. Here you have the test. You see it's not a test because students are learning with this. Okay. So it, here you have the applet. Okay. Something you may recognize. Okay. Yeah. And here you have the questions and the answers. And there are different kind of questions. Some are to fill in the blank or some are to like a short essay or something like multiple choice and so on. And with this, you, you can make the students get what you want them to, to learn, but in a different way. Okay, and that's that's the important thing here. Okay, for example, with this, you can make something about geometry or whatever you want to, them to, to study in a way that you can present math in a different way and you can make a good follow up of what the students are answering and what they are learning. Okay. Because maybe you do this in class, you bring the applet and you show them with the, with the projector and you, but maybe one or two students of the class really answer all the questions and the other one just like see what the other answer and answer. Okay. But with this, that you have every student, each single student thinking or small groups thinking of this and you can see all, all, all the answers of the students, you can make a really good follow up of what is happening in your class. So this is going to be the course. How to do these interactions between Schoology and Hohera. And if you are lucky enough, we can share some discussions about didactic implications of this kind of work in the class. Okay, so I hope you, you find this useful and please make any comments that you want. See ya.